We busted out the brooms last week, boys. Three for three on our touchdown props. Plus 600 pay dirt parlay. Josh Allen, Alvin Kamara, Kenneth Walker III, come on down. All three of them found the end zone, and we'll look to do it again in week two with three different players. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoy the content, hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel. Let us know in the comment section who you guys got scoring in week two. I'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. So let's get right into it. My favorite touchdown scorer in week one. I was surprised we get him at plus money at plus 110. Jonathan Taylor. He did score last week. He only had uh, 48 yards on 16 carries. He was up against a tough Texans defensive front, though. That won't be the case against Green Bay as we watched Saquon Barkley run wild on them for 132 all-purpose yards and three touchdowns, most importantly. The Pack allowed the eighth-most rushing touchdowns last season to opposing running backs, and Taylor scored in seven of his 10 games played during the 2023 campaign. I expect this Green Bay offense to be limited. I don't expect Jordan Love to play, and that's going to set up the Colts. With some nice scoring opportunities, I expect them to be playing with a lead, and I expect Taylor to find the end zone to kick things off for us in Week 2. Number 2 on the list, Isaiah Pacheco at negative 130 from the Chiefs. Now, he scored against a strong defensive front as well last week on Thursday Night Football against the Ravens. He scored in 8 of his last 9 games. The only game that he failed to score during that run was actually in the Super Bowl. And now he gets to face a Cincinnati Bengals defense that got run over by my guy, Ramadre Stevenson. He ran for 120 yards and a touchdown. Kansas City's favorite by six. The total sitting at 48. I expect them to be playing with the lead. And I expect Pacheco to find pay dirt for us in week two. Now, our third guy. Going to go to Derrick Henry. It's very juicy. Negative 180. It's not going to be very often during the season that I back a guy at this price but he managed to score against a strong uh, Kansas City defense he has scored in six of his last eight games amazingly actually the only two where he didn't score were both against the Houston Texans and this Raiders off uh, defense I'm sorry they were run over by the former Raven J.K. Dobbins 135 yards and a touchdown and uh, the Chargers averaged six and a half yards per carry against the Raiders Baltimore playing at home, heavily favored in this game. I expect them to be playing with a lead, and I expect them to lean on Henry even more, and I expect him to find the end zone. Uh, Tough price at negative 180, I'll admit it. But when we wrap all three up into the pay dirt parlay, Henry, Pacheco, Jonathan Taylor comes up to plus 477. If you guys were wondering who else I considered, uh, J.K. Dobbins almost made the list. Jaden Daniels, Bijan Robinson, uh, Josh Jacobs. These were all guys that I considered. And if you are looking for a long shot, I'm considering I think Patrick Mahomes at plus 330. Now, he didn't score in week one. He didn't even score last season at all. But he scored two plus touchdowns in the five prior seasons. Last season, he ran the ball uh, early in the season, more than late. He had 20 plus rushing yards in nine of the first 10 games, 30 plus in five of those 10 games. Brissett ran for 32 yards on seven carries against the Bengals. Again, I expect the Chiefs to be playing from ahead in this game. So plus 330, it's worth a little sprinkle on Mahomes. But our main guys for this week, Taylor, is he's number one on my list by far. Pacheco, number two, and we're going to go Derrick Henry despite the price at number three. Like I said, Pater Parlay, wrap them all up for plus 477. Guys, I have a great promo code over at Sports Memo. Use the code Steve25, S-T-E-V-E, 25. Gets you 25% off anything on my page, daily, weekly, monthly, uh, you name it. It uh, brings a 30-day all-access pass to less than $6 per day. I'd encourage you guys to go check that out. We've raked in a profit now in 10 of our last 14 days. There's always a link to my action at Sports Memo in the pinned comment. I always have free plays over at X, IG, as well as at Sports Memo. The X and IG handles are at Steve's Book 22. 
Good luck this week, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button on the way out. Let's cash another one. Let's go three for three again, and I'll see you guys in week three. Good luck.